Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Following up on a previous lesson where we did voice access to execute different commands and even type out letters, let's go ahead and talk about how we can do voice dictation while we're in a document or even an email, wherever there is a text box of sorts. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go back to my search window and I'm going to take us to our accessibility speech settings. I go over there and I just want you to notice here that there is this option that tells us if you want to do voice typing, you can just do the Windows key plus H. It's as simple as that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to here, do Windows key plus H, and you're going to see this is going to pop up down below and it's currently listening to me. That's beautiful. That's fantastic. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it just by clicking on it. Now, what I'm going to do now is just go into my settings to show you what we can do with this tool. I'm going to click on that. And you're going to see that there's this really nifty little widget here for voice typing launcher. Right? It's a little widget that it's always going to show up whenever it thinks that you might want to use the voice. Right? So whenever you're going to type, you might want to dictate. So if I'm inside of a Word document or if I'm inside of an email, even on a browser, it's going to show it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. The automatic punctuation, it will listen for pauses. It might even listen for inflections. It has a little bit of an artificial intelligence in there to punctuate automatically based off of your natural speech. You can also set your default microphone. This is the microphone I'm currently using. So I'm just going to go ahead and just turn all these things on. Click away. And now I'm ready to start. Now I just want you to notice here when I mouse over this, you're going to see it's going to remind me of what that keyboard shortcut is of Windows key plus H. So I can do that or I can simply just click on it. Dear Santa Claus, period. New paragraph. I have been a very good boy this year, period. New paragraph. I wish you had an email so I could write you directly and knew that you got this right away, exclamation point. And I just simply clicked on the microphone to stop. Now, you'll notice also that Word has a built-in dictation, so you could use that as well, but not all programs are going to have that. Which leads me to my next part of this discussion is let's go ahead and go to a browser where we might have an email we want to write. So I'm going to go back over here to Chrome and I have this empty email ready to go. And you'll notice what's sitting there waiting for me is the little widget. And now I can go ahead and write Santa Claus my little email. Dear Santa Claus, period. New paragraph. Great to see that you have an email address, period. Look forward to hearing from you soon period. Okay. Now you will notice that you may have to fix things. It's not perfect kind of doing this on purpose. So you can see that I don't want to oversell this. And you'll also notice that this auto punctuation may backfire sometimes because I said period and I also paused. So it put it in there. Okay. So just keep that in mind. There are some tweaks around this that you may have to work around. All right. But fantastic tool. Try it out and we'll see you in the next lesson. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.